Yeah, a couple of good laydowns there from uh, Robert and Eric. They both had big hands. They could have ran into some big stuff and uh, just stay out of the fight and uh, move up a spot. So Shankar finishes with 46,000 or 45,000 he gets paid. 45,390, yeah. And the next one out, 61,685. Nice payday. Yeah. <laughs> this is his third uh, WPT final table. Still no wins. He does have two bracelets and plenty of other ac poker accolades. Yeah, almost a uh, 10x ROI. I mean, so $5,000 buy-in. 250 people entered this tournament. So turning 5,000 into uh, to 45,000. It's a pretty good little week here in Sacramento. <laughs> yeah, not bad. 65,000. Robert going up to 65,000. Queen nine of diamonds. Over to Kevin in the small blind. Nine seven of hearts. Uh -oh. Kevin's been sort of just laying back for a while. Has been mixing it up these last few rounds. Over to Jake. 925,000 behind in the big blind. It's a queen and it's an ace. Offsuit. At the raise here from Robert. Jake has 33 big blinds, so he can just call. Like he can three here, bet. Yeah. Yeah. Three bet and call it off. He could just put it all the way in. Robert hasn't gotten out of line at all. Yeah, so he'll go the three bet option. Two uh, fifty five is the is the raise here from from Jake. So as you see, three sixty five already in the center. Jake was seven hundred thousand back. Robert's got to consider that as well. And it's uh, not a terrible price of the queen nine suited. It is a little awkward playing from there on out because Jake's stack is kind of short afterwards. It would just be kind of flop and go with it situation. There's not a lot of wiggle room afterwards if he does call, so he's going to lay it down. And Robert's reputation precedes him, right? He's just sort of been in these spots where he's had to make some decisions and just kind of, yeah, let's wait for another moment. Yeah. <laughs> he's been rubbing them together for good luck. Uh. Jake limps a small blind, and Tony <laughs> wakes up with aces in the big after they had already discussed when he that he had raised it with 3-6 offsuit in this exact situation. Oh, boy. So the, uh, the, the, the table talk once again potentially playing a factor here. Tony going up 130,000 with his aces, and Jake. That's why it's insane. <laughs> oh, brutal. And the king Let's four. <laughs> <laughs> they had discussed that uh, he had made it three times the big blind last time with the three six offsuit, and that's why Jake had to call, even though he only had king eight. This time, <laughs> Tony tried to make it three x, but accidentally made it four and a half x. Whoops. <laughs> I don't think anybody believes Jake yeah, limped and folded an ace. Oh, you would have learned. You would have learned the tough way, yeah, or the easy way. If you had aces. Yeah, oh. Yeah. Kevin here in the cutoff. A king and a queen. A couple of spades. Ooh. 
They go up to 60,000. The blinds sit at 15.30 with an ante of 30K. So Kevin going up to 60,000. Over to Eric with his ace three in the big blind. A 10, an 8, and a 4 rollout. So Eric with his ace, still good right now. One spade does drop, so that's of some interest to Kevin. Eric with the check. That 55,000 from Kevin. This is a spot where the king queen suited has lots of good turn cards to keep firing. Oh. And good play by Kevin, so he'll scoop the pot, 220,000. And he got the best hand to fold. It was nice. Nothing. Pipe down, Frank. Pipe down over there. Here, he's turning. Pipe down over there. I was going to say, yes. you're not even drinking. Drink. Why is he not drinking? I'm going to drink, too. Don't drink. Well, I'll take a shot. You guys all want to take a shot? No. 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 <laughs> 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 Just kidding. <laughs> Terrible <laughs> idea. Why? <laughs> I haven't done puts in a long time. Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right. After the final table. Okay. After the final yeah, table. Yeah. Yeah. Can I do so? <laughs> Well, folks. Well, they'll discuss in taking shots at the final table. We didn't want to interrupt and well. <laughs> get out of the way of that conversation. Seemed like it might pass there for a second, right? A couple yeah. of guys were like, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jake was in. Uh, Robert's like, no. <laughs> 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 we are not doing shots. We might be here for another six hours playing this final one. table. For $279,000. Right, yeah. <laughs> a shot doesn't do anyone any good. <laughs> Robert going to raise it up here with his king queen off to 110,000. Eric once again looking down at a, an ace with kind of a rag for a kicker here. Surprisingly big open from Robert. Yeah, it's a little uncharacteristic. Oh, it was a three bet from the, or not, it was a limp and then a raise from the big blind. So that's, there that's you what go. I that got. Makes more okay. sense. So two of the bigger stacks mixing it up here to a flop we go. Heads up. There is a king, a seven, and a five. So. Eric is going to hit that seven, but Robert hits the king. So top pair with a good kicker for Robert. He's in control right now, but Eric first act. And they both have the look at the back door hearts. Check from Eric. See if Robert keeps his foot on the gas here. Be going up to 110,000 on the pre-flop action. He'll go to 75,000 is the bet here, three and a quarter in the center. Deuce of Hearts gives him both a backdoor flush draw. You can see in this shot uh, Eric's Hublot watch that he won for either winning this tournament last year or winning the uh, player of the year last year. Eric with the check with his non-Hublot hand. <laughs> Robert going to continue his stand here. 175,000. So this is becoming a significant pot pretty quick here. For a hard time seeing Eric getting away from this now. Maybe he does, but four to the flush. Still has the ace kicker, a pair of sevens. As you see by the percentages, though, Robert 
firmly in control with his pair of kings. And yeah, Eric, I mean, Eric's had a lot of good laydowns. Yeah, it's a great table. laydown. Another good one there. There's lots of ways that I'm sure I would have talked myself into making that call. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, me too. Great gets pull. Away. Yep, nice job. Another nice scoop there for uh, for Robert as well. So, you know, we, we've seen Robert have plenty of easy decisions to make in times where he also could have talked himself into continuing a hand. And as you called him earlier, a lot of easy decisions, but that was, he was pretty aggressive in his stand there and, and, and impressive play from Robert. Sure, yeah, and the queen nine suit he got away from, the ace queen he got away from. So he's, uh, he's had a couple of marginal decisions that have been a little bit on the tougher side now. Definitely not stepped in any trouble. Five players remaining. It's the WPT Rolling Thunder final table here at Thunder Valley. Just tuning in. Thanks for being with us, Dave Fair, alongside Poker Pro and Thunder Valley Ambassador Tyler Patterson, who spent a lot of time in this room. Former, a, formerly a Sacramento guy, spent a lot of time down here and a lot of time in this room. And actually had yourself a great run at um, at this tournament. You uh, you came in tenth. Yeah, we came close, and it's a it's a fun place for me to do that because I got a lot of friends and family in the area. Always. Here to represent the room, so. Did you call yourself a near bubbleist because of the <laughs> performance today? I guess so. I mean, we played six-handed at 36, so 10th, 10th uh, was not the final table. The final table didn't combine until seven, so I didn't. <laughs> wasn't really a bubbleist, but yeah, you know, I was close. But you're, you're flirting with the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Do you ever see yourself intentionally sabotaging yourself in a tournament just so you have that prestige of being? A legitimate bubbleist. You really like this term. You're really running with well, it. Well, I mean, look, you coined something brilliant, <laughs> man. You can't just, you can't just shrug it off. <laughs> the reason we came up with it earlier, we were talking about Robert. He uh, he got tenth in the uh, main event of the World Series, and uh, for eight hundred thousand, he was the final table bubbleist. I would do it if I had a partner in crime. <laughs> and he didn't write it down in his bio. She no, was he kind of amazing. Yeah. You, uh, you'd think that if you were uh, a bubbleist of that caliber, you'd let people know. <laughs> I got to shout out. Uh, uh, looks like they're doing oh, shots. Now you're, now you're they are doing yeah. shots? Yeah. <laughs> they're talking about it. Are they arguing who's, who's going to buy them? They, they want one more person to join them. The two of them don't want to give. I'm, 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 a shot's not going to affect me. <laughs> uh, I mean, should we draw straws and one of us go out there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. You got me. <laughs> I was in the middle of trying to shout out my buddy Stephen Garfinkel, who was another main event final table bubbleist. Got tenth in the World Series main event. You're surrounded by those people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eric with the raise here to sixty-five thousand with his ace ten off in the cutoff. Sixty-five. Over to Jake in the big blind. He's going to make the call. Still don't have a read on that second card. Should get it here. We've got a little bit of an RFID glitch. We get to, uh, we get to guess. Yeah. Handicap this thing. Who's, who's going to win it? So Eric with middle pair top kicker. Jake with the quick check. 175,000 in the middle. 940,000 behind for Jake. Eric check, decides check. to just trap with his uh, middle pair of tens and now trips. Ten. Checking that. If uh, Jake's other card there is the Ten of Hearts, it could be, could be spicy. Oh, it can't be the Ten of Hearts. Eric's got the Ten of Hearts. Mm. So it's probably not a Ten. <laughs> Back 75,000. 75,000, and Jake quickly folds. So, yeah, that other card, probably not that spicy. It's going to live on in mystery. Eric chipping up pretty nicely, 2.7 million in his stack now. <coughs> Considering we're still five-handed and they're already talking about doing shots, I imagine these guys are going to have quite the Tuesday night at Thunder Valley here in <laughs> the outskirts of Sacramento. See Eric up top now, 90 big blinds for him, almost 2.7 million. Robert not far behind, 85 big blinds, two and a half. Kevin. 2.482. That's basically a three-way tie for first. It really is. And then, I mean, Tony and Jake both have plenty of uh, plenty of room to navigate as well. So live from Thunder Valley Casino here in Lincoln, California, we got uh, we got some good, card, uh, some good cards to watch here as these guys 
try to figure out how to get to that top prize of $279,000. Right behind Jake there, you can see the Champions Cup. That's what they're all trying to get their names on. Tony's name's already there. Eric's yep. name's already there. Jake's been close a bunch of times. Free entry into the WPT Tournament of Champions, which will be coming up a little bit later this year. Huh? That's a great tournament, too. It's a, it, it's all heroes, so no, you're not you. – uh, it's not a ton of value in that respect, but uh, if the WPT adds a bunch of money, they get a bunch of sponsors to add a bunch of money. You get a little swag bag that has all sorts of neat things in it every year. I need one of these two. Two of these, four. Hey, look, our names are in the lights. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like everyone's just quitting. Yep. Yep, so uh, they're going that, home. That'll do it, folks. Thanks for watching. <laughs> What's going on here? They're, are they uh, passing out shots? What, this know. is not an official break. No, it's not. Oh, they they're, they got it set up on the cards. I think uh, uh, I think that little uh, mystery Jake's other card. Glitch. Yeah, I yeah. think they're they're replacing the setup because of that. That makes sense. Kevin is the person we know the least about here. I think uh, he probably plays some decent sized cash games. I saw his name show up on a. He has a high roller finish and a 25k buy-in, so he's uh, definitely no stranger to to big events or big money situations. Yeah, I mean, came into this final table with the chip lead at about 2.8 million and has kind of stayed right at that level. Has traded some chips back and forth, but hasn't gotten too splashy and seems like it's rather intentional on his part to uh, to remain a bit of a mystery. Yeah, maybe. A couple of people, you know, kind of engaging him a little bit in conversation. He's just like, yeah, very pleasant, but just not, you know, not mixing <laughs> it up too much. Usually in these, uh, in a field like at Thunder Valley, because we're, you know, a little bit on the outskirts. We're 30 minutes outside Sacramento. It's not in a main gambling hub. Uh, you end up with a few locals at the final table, but this year, Eric is sort of a local. He did used to live in Sacramento and played out here a decent amount, um, but there's really no locals, no locals left. All you mean pros, steamrolling <laughs> all the average Joes. <laughs> Eric in the hijack here, ten five off. New RFID cards are working all right. Yep. From Faded Spade. Yeah, thanks to our friends at Faded Spade, the preferred playing cards of the WPT. Robert in the cutoff here. Jack in an eight, going to go up to 65,000. Kevin gets out of there. Over to Jake. He's got an ace and a four of clubs in the small blind. He makes the call. Tony, an ace and a deuce in the big blind. Like Tony's considering a a squeeze here, a big three bet to just try to take it down. And Jake has an interesting hand to combat that. Tony's gonna make a move here. He's yeah, it looks pretty big. So he does he does announce three hundred and fifteen thousand, but the final seconds were taking away only one time extension left for the action clock by Protection Poker and. Came down to the last couple of seconds there, but 315,000 is the is the repop from Tony. So let's see. Jake just lets it go. Yeah. So nice scoop by uh, by Tony there. Both of them looked uh, pretty skeptical of that one. They thought Tony might be light, but uh, neither one of them had the goods to to fight it. Jake and Tony with a little banter. Tony's uh, mood has changed a little bit since winning that big pot with Kings. Not steaming about Jake's bluff so much anymore. Kevin here in the cutoff with a nice starting hand. Ace, 10 of clubs. 
Makes it 60,000. Oh, it's a free blind. Oh, 74. Eric in the big blind. 10 9 off. He's going to see a flop. Oh. 165,000 in the center. Heads up to the flop we go. There are four or five and a six. Take a Ace is still good for Kevin. Eric, first act. Yeah. Kind of an ugly board for both of their hands. Yeah. Check, check to the turn. There come the three. Another diamond. The player holding. Not a bad spot for a cheap bluff for Eric, even though no equity at all. Yeah. He's just going to go ahead and give up. Yeah. Kevin hoping to get to showdown for free. Yeah. He could also just make them back. both make a straight. Down. Either one wants to take a stab at it, they're just going to chop that one up. Now that Tony has all the chips, <laughs> not all the chips, but he has a lot of chips, that uh, that time bank, or that uh, <laughs> time extension chip could really come into play. The fact that he only has one left. I think it has to be, because... There are now one million more reasons to be a Club WPT VIP member. The Club WPT one million dollar bonus provides a life-changing opportunity for VIP members Throughout 2020, any Club WPT VIP member who qualifies for a World Poker Tour main event on Club WPT and then goes to win the live WPT main tour event will win the Club WPT $1 million bonus. Well, that's pretty wild to get an extra million if they uh, if they happen to win qualifying from w Club WPT. Somebody qualifies from Club WPT for every one of the events. Yeah, normally you don't hear about million dollar bonuses unless it's like a quarterback in the NFL. You know, it's a <laughs> <laughs> pretty nice bonus, man. Yeah, or if you just go perfect in the NCAA bracket or whatever. Well, I like think you get like a billion dollars or something, right? You if you might do as that well, Because whatever. it's impossible. <laughs> it is impossible, yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you filling out some brackets this year? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I like the, uh, the NCAA stuff, yeah. Assuming, you know, that uh, everything goes as planned. So certainly uh, looking forward to the uh, the big tournament that's coming up. And lots of great events on the uh, on the calendar for, uh, for the WPT as well. I mean, they're going to be bouncing all over the place and there's going to be the just this coming week the wpt deep stacks in amsterdam holland casino wpt at the venetian march 13th through the 17th wpt deep stacks maryland 20th through the 23rd wpt deep stacks jacksonville march 27th through 30th and then the wpt champions cup finals march 31st through april 2nd at the HyperX esports arena in las vegas Looking at the scoreboard here, as you see, 67 big blinds for Eric, 62 for Robert, 62 for Kevin, and then down from there. 37 and 22 for the other two, and they, uh, you see all the stacks condensed because yeah. the uh, levels just went up to 20,000, 40,000. <laughs> Andy is 40,000 as well, and you mentioned this before we got going, that if Tony starts to uh, chip up a little bit, that could really drive the action and to your point a moment ago 1.4 million for Tony he's got a little room to splash around if he wants to Kevin with his 10-6 offsuit in the big blind here gonna make the call Six in the window there for Kevin. Yeah. So check from Kevin, check from Tony to a turn we go. There's a 10, so two pair now for Kevin. And a gut shot for Tony. I don't think Tony's going to end up going anywhere here, so might get a little bit of action. Yeah. 
bet 80,000? 80, 80,000 is the bet there. Seconds. Final 10 seconds, so Tony knows he has to move. Makes the call 80,000. 380,000 in the center right now. Final card, and it's a queen. Boy, that could spell trouble for Tony here. So Kevin's got two pair, tens and sixes, on the river. Tony hits his queen. Yeah, it's going to be hard for, t for Tony to get away here. It's a pretty big bet from Kevin and probably just a pretty quick call from Tony so I expect in the 300 350 range Wow bet. 400 Four and a quarter yeah <laughs> so 425, Tony five. has the perfect hand for this bet he's gonna be pretty pretty tough spot especially with that only that one time bank he might use it here that one time extension chip. Oh, little pump fake fold, huh? Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Makes the call. He's going to see the bad news. Total pot size of 1.2 million. Ship in the way of Kevin now. 3.1 million for Kevin. Starting to pull ahead a little bit here, and Tony, south of a million in chips in his stack once again. That was a great bet from Kevin. He said almost Absolute just maximum. perfectly sized. Yeah. Worked out great for him with Tony hitting that queen on the river. About 40% of Tony's stack ships across the table on that single hand. So Kevin now, 77 big blinds over 3 million in chips. Eric not far behind, 67 at 2.6. Robert at 62, and now Tony and Jake right there. Both less than a million, just a little bit more for Tony. 905,875. Yeah, that pot put Tony right, right in Jake Swartz's level. They're kind of tied there in fourth place, fourth and fifth. Got a question here on the Facebook yeah. chat. Uh, could there be amateurs in this kind of game? And so this is a $5,000 buy-in tournament, so it's a little bit high as far as the price point for amateurs. But there's, uh, it's cer certainly legal for any amateur to play. Anybody who wants to put up to 5,000 can play. But there's also uh, Thunder Valley runs a pretty extensive system of satellites for their big events. You can buy in for as little as $65, win a satellite into a $230 s satellite, into a $1,000 satellite, into a uh, $5,000 buy-in. So Yes, absolutely, this is open to any amateur, all levels of play. And Thunder Valley does a great job uh, keeping options open for the smaller buying guys. And I assume that most people that are watching this are pretty avid poker fans, so they would understand what a, a satellite is. But for people that don't know, it's just an opportunity to get into these bigger buying events at a much smaller price point. It's just you have to wade your way through another field of players, right? Right, yeah, you just buy in for a small amount. Like let's say there, there was a one for a $230 buy-in, and you have to beat enough players to get into a thousand dollar buy -in. but we've seen those cinderella stories before with people co coming through club wpt or whatever it may be and you know getting the the free satellite in and then they get through a field and they end up sitting at one of these final tables so it's certainly not unheard of absolutely yeah um I th we had the the first cash for a uh, a learned wpt player i don't know if it's the first one but we had one in this let me look this this little story up because it learned wpt is a great place to uh you can go, there's a free trainer, you can oh go yeah, learn okay, uh, some extra poker skills or whatever, and um, all that content is available at WPT.com. And what's really great is you get to needle a whole bunch of <laughs> pros, and you're like, oh yeah, I just learned this. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am cashing. Right. Cool. <laughs> Thanks again for being with us. WPT Rolling Thunder, hanging out here in the outskirts of Sacramento, California in beautiful Lincoln, California and really beautiful day here in uh, in the northern part of the state and obviously a great tournament that's going on here. My name is Dave Farrow alongside 
Poker Pro and Thunder Valley Ambassador Tyler Patterson. This great event here at Thunder Valley. Just a beautiful poker room, beautiful property. If you've never had a chance to, uh, to make it out this way. Very impressed, you know, living in Las Vegas for the past 15 years. Been around a lot of casinos and in that time. And this one really stands up uh, amongst the, some of the best of them, including one of the best poker rooms that I've seen in quite some time. So well done to, uh, to everyone from, from Thunder Valley putting together a great event. And $279,000 sitting at the top here, five players remaining. And the next person out going to get just about 62000 followed by 85, 122, 177. And then that top prize, name on the cup. Entrance into the WPT Tournament of Champions, $279,270 what they are vying for. Robert in the cutoff here. King Jack offsuit. Going to go up to 90, so you see these uh, these raise sizes going up as well, you know, with the uh, the blinds and the antes. Each pot starting at 100000 Tony in the big blind here. One of the shorter stacks at 825 back. He's got ace four. Let's see what he does. There he goes. All in from Tony. And putting Robert in a uh, interesting spot here. So Robert looking at a jack and a king, and he does what we've seen Robert do a number of times in this final table. Just brush it off and say, on to the next. So he just lets it go, and Tony going to get back up to that. Seven-figure mark with a million chips now in his stack. Just to add all the add to all the pleasantries about uh, Thunder Valley. You know the Benner when the poker room operator is great here, and the whole casino gives him a lot of leeway. They let him host parties for the players, host dinners for the players, and uh, add a bunch of big money guarantees to the satellites and to the to the tournament so they they put a lot of effort into the poker room in uh, at Thunder Valley which is a a thing that less and less casinos are doing nationwide so it's pretty nice to to have a big casino that has a poker room as a, a big part of their business yeah and Ben's a, a fantastic guy to be uh, to be running the room here um, you know been, been working with him for for many years and so uh, cool to uh, to see him thriving in, in an environment like this and really building something for uh, for poker fans in this part of the uh, in this part of the country. A lot of people will be able to come in and enjoy this great poker room here, at Thunder Valley. It's nicely located too, 30 minutes from Sacramento, not too far from the Bay Area and Reno and Tahoe. They're all easily accessible from here. Kevin going up to 80,000 with his King Four of Hearts. Eric in the big blind here, going to make the call with his 10-7 off. There's nine, a three, and a deuce. So Kevin, ki King High is still good. Okay. Check, check. And a seven rolls yeah, off, giving Eric deuce. the best of it. He's got second pair with a ten kicker. Just going to trap with his pair of sevens here. Check. Another check. And to the river, a five rolls off, so Eric's hand is good. 220,000 in the middle. I can imagine Eric goes for some value now, but it's going to be hard to get any value. You need Kevin to have uh, one of the smaller pairs or maybe make a hero call with ace high. Check, 125. One and a quarter. Eric bets $125,000. And a fold there from Kevin, so pots go in the direction of Eric. Both those guys very cautious with each other. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty small pot. Kevin just trying to get the showdown with King High, and Eric didn't get too excited about that seven on the turn. Every 
every time there's a pay jump when someone busts out, the, the mood lightens for a little bit. And then, uh, okay, then we the just made an extra 15, 20, <laughs> 30 yeah. thousand dollars, and then it's and then an hour back goes by, yeah, yeah. yeah, and then they <laughs> start to tense up again. Kevin in the hijack here, Jack 10. Going to go up to 80,000. Jake, one of the smaller stacks out of the way. And a couple ladies here for Tony. On the button. Looks like he's just going to call. Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> Real sneaky from Tony. <laughs> yeah. And now Eric with a couple of jacks right behind. He looks a little weary of Tony's call. But since Tony only has a million, uh, which is a little over 25 big blinds, or right at 25, uh, Eric's going to go ahead and raise, and he will not mind calling it off until he sees the two queens, of course. 345,000 from Eric Robert. Four. Quickly out of there, so is Kevin. And he says 995. There comes the jam and quick call from Eric. Maybe. Well. <laughs> yeah, he says, all right, let's do it. And so Eric's got the bad news that he is up against it. But even worse news for him is that Kevin just folded one of the other jacks. So right. you're going to need a lot of help here on this flop. Yeah, the percentages that we're showing here are uh, okay. without that information that there's a jack gone. So 2.1 in the center now, a huge potential moment here for Tony, and he's got to like that flop. So an ace, a six, and a four. Says two outs. We know there's only one in the deck, so Ooh, and that uh, will do it. Not. Dagger in the heart before yeah. we even get to the river. And Tony with a huge double up, getting it over 2.1 million and all of a sudden roaring past Eric. Tony not only stays alive, but gets himself firmly in place on this leaderboard. Third in chips, 54 big blinds. Had that not gone the direction of Tony, that would have put Eric in a pretty overwhelming spot for where he has been kind of hovering tied in the lead. But uh, now he's 35% of his chips, as you see there, on your screen go in the direction of Tony. And Eric, for the first time, kind of tumbling down the, uh, the leaderboard in this tournament. Yeah, tough spot for Eric there. I don't really think there was any chance to do anything else. Still has 47 big blinds. Not in any immediate danger, but this puts Jake in a, in a far more interesting spot, right? Because yeah, well, he's the only one now. He's not yeah. waiting out anybody else. So. so does that open things up for Jake a little bit, you think, to it try, kinda, to, try yeah. to do the same thing that Tony just did? It, it does a little bit. He That concern of waiting someone out to move up the 16,000 uh, is no longer there, but I... Honestly, because of Jake's record and not having won this title that he wants so bad, I don't think that was really on his mind too much anyway. So I think he probably would have <laughs> probably would have played the same to try to get first place as he will now. Robert here in the small blind with a six and a ten of clubs. He makes note that this is the first time it's folded to them in the small mm -hmm. blind. Small blind. Cool. Hang around over to Kevin, who's got a fairly similar hand. But his is a nine and a six, a couple of hearts. Mm -hmm. For the flop we go, 120,000 in the middle. Here we go, there's a nine in the window, a jack as well, and a deuce rolls off. So middle pair for Kevin, the nine's hit. 40. 40. Robert, we're gonna pop 40,000 out there, see what happens. Okay. 
call from Kevin. 200,000 in the middle now. Eight of spades, so now all of a sudden, things get more interesting. Yeah, Open ender for Robert. Big card for Robert. <coughs> Decide to continue bluffing, just trying to get a king high, ace high, or a deuce to fold. Unless he's going to go all three streets. 140 is the wager from Robert. I don't think you're going to get a nine to fold very often, but this nine could, but I, I doubt it. I think Kevin's going to stick around. A lot here depends on what he thinks of uh, Robert's play. If he thinks Robert's really tight, he might he might fold that hand. But Kevin makes the call, and a four rolls through. So Robert does not get there. Kevin's pair nine is going to hold up for him. Like you said, Robert's come through guns a blazing with not a whole lot going on until that turn. Let's see if he continues it here and. Be able to push Kevin off the better hand, the winning hand. Yeah, it would take a pretty big bet, but all the one pair hands, there, which there are a lot of them, uh, they might Ooh, fold. That would be a pretty big bet. <laughs> He's going for it. Half million. Okay. It's a full pot bet. So 480 was sitting in the middle. Add another 500 to it. You got nearly a million chips already in the center. Kevin, Kevin would have to really make a hero call here with pair of nines gets away from and it he lays it down and credit to robert good move by robert only way to win that hand was by doing that season 18's wpt rolling thunder final table in sacramento california just outside lincoln california tyler patterson dave fair with you thanks for being with us 250 plus